Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is going to be Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and Divine Feminine's Karmic. So we're just going to dive right into it. Here we have an energy of someone seeing someone as a star in their eyes. But they're being quiet about it. They're being quiet about how they want to proceed. Can I get the energy of the Divine Masculine in this read, please and thank you. Mm. So I feel a lot of ways that this Masculine feels betrayed. They are leaving a situation that they thought was stable, that they invested in, and that they thought would last a very long time. Mm. So this divine masculine was with a karmic. And there was no celebration in the end. So this masculine may have wanted to... Mm. And for those of you who thought my deck was upside down, because <laughs> look, I, I I almost questioned it myself, but then spirit says no. This masculine wants to go towards their divine femme, which in this case is you, divine femme. But it's going to take a long time. It's something about being strategic. The way that they have to get to you almost. It's like you're guarded. So I don't know. Maybe the karmic that you're with is very controlling. Hmm. Yeah. They have to confess something to you. So I did kind of get that energy of... I'm talking to you, Divine Femme, because I feel as though you're the main one watching. Divine Masculine, you as well, because, I mean, you're Divine Masculine. Even a cross watcher could be the karmic, hey. But look, the Masculine in this reading is coming towards their Divine Femme to confess something in hopes that it will lead to a higher commitment. Because right now, they're leaving a situation with someone who may have used them for money. And they invested a lot into this person and they didn't think that this person would um, do this to them. Let me get one more just for clarity, please. And thank you for this divine mask. Yeah. King of Swords. This divine masculine is cutting out all the BS. It's being very clear, speaking their mind. Okay. This could be an air sign. Heavy Libra. I'm even here in Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn. Bottom deck we have is wanting to work together. It is third party energy though. But really honing in. Look. Look at the masculine. And this is the divine feminine karmic. And it's like the masculine is looking over now. You know. It's like I want to get to divine femme. But divine femme is entertaining someone else. Mm. And they're trying to avoid a tower moment. They're trying to avoid saying the wrong thing to you, Divine Femme. Doing the wrong thing. Because they feel as though you'll just turn your back on them. I want to get Divine Femme's energy, please. And thank you. Mm. So Divine Femme, you're showing up as the star again. And this is how the masculine views you. You may be in the spotlight. You may have a YouTube, you may, you may be, they're telling me entrepreneur, but also like an influencer or you may become, but either way it goes, you're really seen in this high light right now. Yep. The lovers, you're being chosen, but I feel like both lovers are choosing you. Okay. One is a karmic though. And I feel as though uh, a truth is going to come in. And it's going to complete a cycle with your karmic. 
Okay, that's just what I'm saying in the pre-show. It's going to be a new beginning. Okay, one more. Is one of these cards flipped over? Okay, no. Okay, can I get some clarity for this star for Divine Fem? I don't know what's going on with Divine Fem, please and thank you. Oh, Divine Fam, here's what's going on. Look, a two of cups situation. You're seeing, you've been seen as the star right now, okay? Because you're in your power and you're choosing and you're going to make the right decision. You're going to choose your two of cups, but it's like, I'm trying to go back and forth to make sure that I choose the right two of cups, you know? Like... I want to have this new beginning. I want to have the house. I want to have the dog. You know, like that. And, but it's like, I want to make sure that I'm making the right choice. though. And you're definitely in your power to do so. Yeah. Hey, man. That's that enlightenment. It's like, I'm stuck on this because I want to know. I want to make the right decision. And you definitely have the choice between two. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't feel as though you're really losing sleep. I feel as though you're you're trying to have enlightenment so that you won't end up in this energy. Okay, so that's why you're really trying to think for a second. What's underneath here? Yep, that's what you're thinking about. You're in decision. One does what's underneath here? Because you don't you want to avoid this tower mm -hmm, from coming in quick, right? It's like if I choose the wrong person, I'm gonna be up shit's creek, okay, without a path. So, let's get this karmic's energy. This karmic is waiting for something. Maybe for a decision. Waiting to see. Yeah, waiting for this decision to take place. Uh, this decision could have something to do with stability. Like the next step forward. Um, they are also contemplating if they should just betray you. Uh, divine them. That's what I see in the pre-show. Um, they are willing to fight, though. This person may be willing to fight if you confront them about them doing them, like cheating or something. They may get a little hostile. Let me get this karmic's energy, please, and thank you. Hmm? Y'all saw that, right? Flew right on out. This karmic wants to have a new beginning and is in this energy of being single and abundant. Literally knocked this two of cups out the way and landed on the fool. Okay. This karmic wants to be single, single and abundant. They want to send their little birdie out to go scout out. Like, this is a person that scouts people out in the club. Like, um... Just always on a prowl, like a proud type of energy. Yeah, what I tell you, a prowler. And look at this. The king of wands is even looking, like looking off, looking past this wand. That's right here, of course. But looking off like, mm, who was that? You know? Yeah. Because this person is scared of missing out on an opportunity. It's like, I'm going to always look and scout and see what's next. And it's coming in fast. But know that this is the overall energy of the read. Is an energy of coming in fast. Something could happen over social media. Um, both masculines can message you, Divine Femme. And you're in this energy of, hum, who, which do I choose? One is a karmic and one is not. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. It's fast to the end, and then the end will bring a rebirth. Yeah, here's that Knight of Wands energy, and here's the King of Pentacles energy. So which one are you going to choose, Divine Femme, because it's coming in quick? You're going to choose the Knight of Wands that rushes in, rushes out, or are you going to choose this King of Pentacles that's stable? Yeah, I can't make this up. Who are you going to choose? It's even two heads right here. Now, somebody's balding. Both of them, maybe. Somebody's hair is thinning. You're definitely going to make a decision between two. Mm -hmm. 
Which one? Which one do you choose? Which one do you choose for the ultimate stability, Divine Fan? I'm going to get the overall energy of this read. First, I'm just going to randomly put a card on each um, person, and we're just going to, that's going to be their energy. And, um, you know, we're going to go from there. So overall energy here is you're very close to achieving your goal. Gibberous moon. So that's what I'm saying. You're very close to achieving this goal. Look, it's coming in fast, okay? And there will be a death and a rebirth that will take place here. Know that you're very close, okay? Everyone here, actually. Here is your divine masculine. Know that you are good enough. They may have Virgo on their chart. They may be an earth sign, okay? Someone here is opening up their heart chakra, trying to be more vulnerable. Divine Femme, nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. It's like you almost feel like, forget everything, you know? How about I just choose nobody? <laughs> That's how you feel, Divine Fam. I, I see a, a energy almost like the hermit. But it's like a retreat because I don't want to face a situation type of thing. But I feel as though you're going to make this decision either way. It's just like you're nervous, you know. And here we have the karmic. The karmic could be a cancer or have cancer or water in their chart. Or fire in their chart as well. A personal issue reaches resolution. <laughs> What was the personal problem, right? That this person wanted to be single, wanted to go out, wanted to scout other opportunities because they felt as though they were missing out. And it's a lot of blue in there. So this person is really going to be voicing things. So they're going to be going for finding little people or whatever, and they're going to be jammed down on them. Like, yeah, I want to talk to you. I want to, you know, this, that, and the next. They're going to go talk to somebody else. All right. Now, you may or may not have known this already, Divine Family. You know, trigger warning. So, this is your masculine right now. And yes, I'm going to read all of these. And this is the overall outcome that your twin flames. The overall outcome is that this person feels as though you're twin flames. They've been healing their inner child. Okay? So, this person, your masculine, has been healing their inner child. They've come to find out that the outcome of why your, your connection is so deep is because you're twin flames. Okay, and they've already had this hesitation before and it's left them alone. And it could have been during this time is when they begin to heal their inner child. Okay, bottom deck we have is healing. You can't make this up. This person did a lot of healing. Um, they may have met you with hesitation before may have chosen someone else that was their karmic and they learned their lesson they definitely did now let's see where you come in at divine family what's going on with you mm. let's see okay bottom deck is marriage wow so you're definitely looking for that partner mm, yes you're definitely looking for that person. You may even have the person in mind. Somebody either asked two questions. One was, is that person my karmic? And the answer is yes. And somebody else asked, should I pick the other person like this masculine? And the answer is yes. Here we have, get ready to receive your blessings, divine film. Mm-hmm. Because here's that transformation taking place. Somebody here is going to come forth and speak a truth. You will receive it. And then a transformation will take place. And the transformation could well as be marriage. Mm -hmm. Marriage, a new start of cycles as well. Or breaking of cycles. Yeah. And fear. So it's like you're jumping out of this fear of making a decision. Feeling overwhelmed and making this decision and whatnot, right? And it seems as though a transformation is occurring and you're just about to receive your blessing. Okay. Let me get one for this karmic. Please and thank you.
Please and thank you for this karmic. Mm. Rise above. So this karmic is going to act like they're trying to rise above. Uh, this karmic finna do them, look. Mm -mm -mm. See, they're acting like they finna rise above. This, this person is gonna act like it's on you, Divine Femme. Like, oh, it's your fault. Oh, you doing something. Oh, you playing games with me. Whole time, they're gonna go chase somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. They're going to go chase somebody else and make another offer to them, Okay. Bottom deck energy we have is soulmate. This is an energy, you know, whereas you could have thought that this karmic was your soulmate, okay? And it led you directly to your twin flame. Uh, underneath here is fear. So by you overcoming this fear of leaving your believed soulmate, um, mm, you're really going to achieve what it is that you really want. And you're going to appreciate that you did this. Okay. I'm going to say what's underneath here. Yeah. Crossroads. Because you'll be coming out of this energy of making a decision at the crossroads. Okay. Yeah. Here you are, Divine Femme. It says, you're Divine Feminine. You're seeking your twin or soulmate. Okay? That's it, Divine Fam. And literally, look, you're looking over here to your twin flame. Okay? And you have your back turned to your karmic, which is who you thought was your soulmate. So, I'm going to go in my little magic bag. You know, it's not really magic, but a lot of magic happens here. And I'm just going to pull some key quotes to get some little energy from everyone before I close out. Moving forward, what will this masculine come forth to do with this feminine? Please and thank you. Okay, what do we have here? We have play. So this masculine is going to come forward in a lighthearted, playful type of energy to you, Divine Femme. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of simplicity. It's going to be a lot of playful, lighthearted type of simplicity to this energy when this masculine comes in to confess their love to you. And then this synthesis is going to take place. It's almost as if you guys are just going to fuse together, become inseparable. It's almost as like an energy of, I don't know why they're telling me like twins, like actual twins. You know, it's like you both have your good qualities separated, but you both have very good qualities together. You mesh well. Okay. That's just the truth of the matter. You mesh well. Okay, Divine Femme, what energy will you be in when this masculine comes towards you? Mm. So this fell out off to the side. It says presence. So you're going to feel as though it's a sign. There's a sign here for you. And it's almost as if you're going to peep the sign and just recognize it. Like, hmm, I wonder what's to this. Um, there's an acceptance though. So when this masculine comes, I mean, you're just going to feel their presence and their energy anyway within that presence, but there's that acceptance. Like, you know what? I'm not even going to fight this. You know, you're going to hold yourself in high regard though. You're going to have that integrity. Um, but at the same time, uh, you are going to be supportive of this masculine. I feel as though you feel the same way. Um, chose something easier, choose something easier. So it's like, it's easier for you to just support this masculine and forgive them because there is a romance here. So how are you going to feel about this karmic quickly? Please and thank you. Mm. You feel as though this karmic is going on an, an adventure. Let me get one more out. Yep. Exploration. You feel as though this karmic is about to go do them. Plain and simple. Let me feel how this karmic feels about divine pen. Uh, 
They feel relaxation. So it's like they want to give you a break. <laughs> mm. They feel like you're on track. So it's like they feel like they're on track with just giving you a break. Okay. Um, something about security here. What's going on with this karmic? Yep, follow your passion. So like I said, when you're in this energy, <laughs> uh, you're definitely following your passion. And you're definitely thinking you're going to miss out on a situation. This is your karmic. Your karmic wants to be single because they feel like they're missing out on other situations of passion and excitement. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, Divine Fam, because... Your masculine is going to come in. It's very close to happening. It's going to happen very quickly. Okay. This death and this rebirth. Look. And look what's underneath there. The page of pentacles. Okay. Look. To what? The ultimate clarity. I can't make this up. So remember to like and subscribe to get your energy put into the collective. And I do thank you all for all of the likes and support. Um, any and everything that has to do with Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It will be down below in the description box. Until then, peace and love.